Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is a show where we demystify technology. And lately we've been demystifying mobile stuff because it really is a big thing these days. I've got mobile coming out of my ears. Oh my god. Do you want a, do you want a Q-tip? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, you know, cleaning things up. <laughs> it's a nice segue wow. there. Wow. Uh, if you, there is no such thing as a Q-tip for your smartphone, but you may want to clean it up given that spring is coming. Yes. Because, you know, it kind of gets digitally mungy. Hmm. And the reason I know this is because, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm just mmming at the term. Do you like the word mung? Yeah, no, kind mm. of distasteful. It's kind of gross. My dad has, a, has an iPad. I bought him it for Father's Day last year. He loves it, lives it, you know, sits in bed and reads the New York Times. My mom uses it too. And he's like, um, you know, every time I use an app now, it crashes. So this Apple thing, it doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to not crash. So I'm like, Dad, well, when was the last time you did a hard reboot of your tablet? And he's like, well, I turn it off. And I'm like, well, that kind of puts it to sleep. It has this quick on and off, right? He said, let's do a hard reboot to reset the system. And he goes, hmm, didn't know you could do that. So I showed him how. So all of a sudden now, it works great! Because I guess what was happening is it must have been an app that had a bit of a memory leak or whatever, and over time it was yep. making it crash, right? Anyway, so, you know, Apple not impervious to those kinds of things. But we, it occurred to Sean and I that we should show you guys how to clean it clean your smartphone, your tablet, whatever it is, you know, digitally, you know, just like you would do it with your computer years ago. Mm -hmm. so, or your office. Everything yeah. needs cleaning. Right. To work more effectively. Yes. To create workability. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> All right. So today on Lab Rats, we're going to show you how to spring clean your smartphone. And, you know, you can use these tips for your tablets, too. That's today. What are you doing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just like, we were in the break. Were you cleaning? Yes, I was cleaning my, my, uh, my iPhone. You were texting somebody, I weren't was, you? I was, I was, sorry. Was it your mom? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so, welcome back to Lab Rats. <laughs> Before we get started, of course, we want to talk to you a little bit about our sponsor, our favorite sponsor. Thank you, sponsor. We love you so. Hover.com, great place to uh, buy domains and do more with them. Of course, this is our sister company here, Two Cows, and uh, you know these are the guys you want to go to if you want to register your own web name, what they call a domain. Um, dot coms, dot nets, dot cas, dot tvs. We like dot tv, of course. Of course. You know all the domains that you can imagine you can register. These guys pretty much cover them all, um, and they make it easy, and they are nice. They actually are polite on the phone if you call them. They, uh, they don't put Muzak, make you listen to music and put you on hold. They I actually, like Muzak. You do like Muzak? I don't like waiting and listening to music for like two hours. To talk to a guy to help you with your MX records? Yeah, no. No, it's not good, right? So Hover's fixed that. They're just like, you know, we want you to have a great experience. And this is a complicated thing at times. And we just want to make it easy for you. So that's what they do. You know, we're both customers. I keep all my domains there. Uh, I have vanity email addresses there. And it's just easy, easy. So authentically, we love these guys. We highly recommend it to you, our beloved Lab Rats audience. So if you have need of their services, you want a vanity email address, go on over to hover.com. Use this coupon code right here. We're going to give that to you to make it easy for you to get started um, and try them out. And then, you know, if you do like them, let us know. And we'll you know, mention it later on in, you know, in the future shows, perhaps. If you're like, want to rave, yay, we'd be happy to do Woo! that. And we'll even put it up on the wall over at Hover. Yes, we will. Hover has like a... A wall, a wall of glory. So, all right, that's hover.com. Check it out. All right, let's get on with the spring cleaning your smartphone and or tablet. And or. And yeah. or. Now, the, the number one rule, and this is a true, this, this rule applies not only to smartphones, not only to tablets, but to computers and any, pretty much any electronic device. Yes. <laughs> rule number one, what is it, Sean? Reboot, reboot, reboot. Yeah. If it doesn't work, turn it off, turn it on again. Yep. And what percentage of problems does that solve? Most of them, about 95%. 95% of them, right? And it's true. It is true. Like, I, you know, some people go, no, it's not possible, 95%. I swear to you, when, I tell, when people come up to me with a tech question, I say, did you reboot it? And most of the time, they're like, no, I didn't. I say, well, go ahead and reboot it. And they do, and they're like, it fixed it. Oh, my God. It's like, you're a genius, Andy. You're, and I'm like, yeah, and it's so easy to forget this, too. I actually had a problem with my iPad once where the headphone jack wasn't working. And I thought, oh, something's broken off inside the headphone jack. So I took it to the genius bar. And the geniuses that they are, the first thing they said was, did you reboot it? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so they rebooted it for me because they wouldn't let me touch it at that point. 
and it fixed the headphone issue. Uh -huh. it's, it's easy to forget, so don't forget. Stencil it on your forehead in, in ink. And if you want to become a tech guru, if you want all your friends and family to know you as the tech guru, remember that one rule. You don't even need to know anything else about the technology. That one rule, make them, they'll hold you in high esteem. Oh my god, you are a tech god. Yeah, just don't let them know what the solution you is. Don't, tell them to, don't let them see this episode, because they'll figure <laughs> it out for themselves, and then you'll be out of work and out of glory. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So that's number one. Number one. Number two. <laughs> this is kind of the corollary to number one. It's like yeah. of the other 95%, almost the other 4.5% is what? Close the apps that are sitting there running. So if something's not working properly, start closing things that you're not using. Or maybe close the app that's behaving badly and restarting it again. Right. That'll solve the problem a lot of the time. Turn, so, turn the app off. Yeah, so a lot of the sprinkling, especially if you haven't turned your iPhone completely, or iPhone or iPad completely off in a while, is you might have a bunch of stuff running there and multitasking, especially since you have gone to multitasking on, on the iPhone and the uh, iPad, is you can run something and then click the Start button, go do something else, and then when you go look in your multitasking menu, you'll uh, see how much stuff is running. Well, do that right now. See what, what your phone is doing. See what your phone is doing. How many apps Let's do you have, have sitting there in your multitasking menu? Do we have a landing slot here, Paul? Can we? Yeah, right over here. So hold on, just a. Uh, okay, yeah. There you go. So bring that up, and I'll start scrolling over. Okay, you've got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's a lot of stuff you've got going on there. And how much, how much of that stuff have you used recently? Uh, that was like last weekend. <laughs> that was like uh, two days before that. Angry Birds was last Thursday. Yeah, so, and, and there's probably still more there too. But anyways, you get the point. There's a bunch of stuff probably sitting there in memory that you're not using uh, on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Do you know you can actually make them jiggle? Yeah, you can. You can. Hold Focus. Focus. Hold on, let me show you. Watch, watch, watch. Hold, push and hold. I can actually kill it like that. Too. Yeah, yeah well, this is, this is how you close the apps in here, is you push and hold until you get the red bar, and then you tap the red bar. It's harder to do when you're doing it uh, doing in reverse. Yeah. But yeah, tap on that little red bar, and uh, the apps will close. Yeah, exactly. So just close them that way. Yeah. And uh, do the equivalent version on Android for closing your apps. So. Or, and the other thing you could do is, you know, if it's an app that you, okay, so maybe you haven't used it in a while, how about if you remove it? Yeah, that's an even better choice. So, like um, 99 cents, you used it, you don't like it, get rid of it. Yeah, you can always download it again for free, probably, if you uh, download it on the same uh, uh, iTunes account. Okay. So, yeah. why not? But yeah, that's uh, the whole thing is you've got only so much space on your phones. If it, you're clogging it up with a bunch of apps that you're not really using, get rid of them. Right. So take it out of memory, so just stop using it. If you're not going to use it, remove it. Mm -hmm. And, by the way, if you want to have more space on your, the next thing would be, of course, is to remove it completely. If, you know, if it's not software, maybe it's music that you haven't listened to in a while and you don't care about it. Perhaps it's you know, that series uh, that you downloaded from iTunes, the, the TV series, and mm -hmm. you know, it's taking up a bunch of space. Get rid of it. Like, create some space on your device. You know, it's yeah. always, you know, in the, the PC world, just in, in even the Mac world, if there's mm -hmm. too much stuff and there's not enough space on the hard drive, yeah. Things can start to perform Things badly. Get a bit and it's true in the smartphone world too. Yep. They're just computers, right? We, they are just computers. They're just computers. Good. So, yeah, so clean it up. You actually actively remove stuff from there. Yeah, get rid of stuff you haven't used in a long time. Okay. Now, um, you said that there was, so you said something about syncing on iTunes? Syncing on iTunes, yeah. So, one of the things that you'll, you'll probably want to do as well is when you're using iTunes, and in some cases people have syncing utilities for Android as well for getting their media over there. So you have a certain number of folders that you monitor and uh, things go over there. So you may want to get more aggressive on what you put in there. So instead of just saying, okay, sync that whole folder, or sync all of these things, or all of these photo, play, or all these photo uh, albums, get very aggressive and just choose a very few ones. So instead of syncing over like two or three gigs, just do a few. Uh, only the three new ones. Only the three new ones or, or whatever. So, you know, obviously do this to meet your needs. So if you yeah. still want to have five and, and getting too aggressive will get rid of stuff you haven't watched yet, then don't do that. But don't just send over absolutely everything. Just get very aggressive and limit what goes over there because that will eat into your space. Uh, now, we have a couple more tips coming up. Um, now these are specific to either the iPhone or Android. Yeah, so, so those, those ones we just did were good kind for of universal, whatever. right? Yeah. Re universal, you can do it for any device. So you said that the, so there is an Android tip which is clean your application cache. Can you explain that? Right. So uh, every time you use an application on uh, a smartphone of some sort, it'll load some information to the background. And if they're internet related, uh, they will cache some information so that the application can fire up quicker uh, so that you don't have to sit there waiting for everything to go. So for example, on Twitter, for example, you, you load that up, but you've got a whole pile of user icons down the side. Well, 
if it clears that out every time you shut down the application, every time you fire up Twitter and I look for your icon on there, it'll have to download that. And download. So they put a bunch of this stuff in cache. Unfortunately, that can eat up a bunch of your space and really use up the resources on your phone. So you'll want to clear your application cache. Now you can go through this on an app by app basis in some cases and go into the settings and do that. I found uh, an application uh, that you can get for about a dollar. Uh, so I'll turn this on, go into all apps, and it's called Quick App Clean Cache. So you'll see all of the different apps that are in here that are using part of the uh, cache on this phone. You, they're storing information on here. And uh, you can go on a case-by-case -case basis and uh, clear the cache for this one specific app, or you can just go up to the top. Clear your SMS history right there. Yeah, you, you can clear a whole pile of different things on here. So you may not want to clear absolutely everything because you might be clearing stuff that you want to keep or go back to. Like your calls history, for example. Your you calls keep history. That. Yeah, you might want to, want to keep that. But if you're ready just for spring cleaning, okay, starting fresh, nothing on here that I want to, to worry about. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if I want to look up a number, I'll just look it up in my phone book rather than the calls history. You can do that by hitting clear all, but you may just want to be careful here. Some of the other stuff that you need, uh, it'll clear out uh, um, your login information as well in some cases. So just be very careful about how you do that. But here you go. For a dollar, it'll give you an interface to clean out your application caches here Love without it. having to go one by one and figuring out where they are. Because some of these, I wouldn't even know that they had application caches without seeing it here on this screen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there you go. We haven't, do we, the iPhone doesn't have anything similar, do we know? Uh, uh, the iPhone, uh, it probably has something that'll do that, but uh, they, they do have some of this in the settings as well. Or, or taken care of, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so the other tip, of course, for, for Android is to clean your storage card. Clean your storage card, right. Yeah. So there are uh, uh, a lot of Android phones that have a SD card that's inside, and a lot of the applications will use part of the storage card for saving things. You might actually have applications on the storage card as well. And again, it might get full. Uh, not enough space on it left to do what you really, really want to do. So go in there every so just, often just, and trim what's on there. And just wise. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So that's those two simple uh, Android uh, tips. Uh, in the world of uh, iPhone, of course, you know, you want to clear app-specific data. Yeah. So let's talk about that for a second. Right. So, I mean, of course, on, uh, on the iPhone, you have Safari, which is the browser that you can use. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's uh, a cache in that, again, for all of the browsing that you do, things that are, you know, used for logins or uh, images that are on things that you upload regularly. So you can go into the Safari settings here uh, from your main uh, system preferences menu. And you can go down to the bottom and uh, clear your history, clear your cookies, or clear your cache. So um, some of these you may not want to do. If you clear your cookies, you're going to lose all your login information, of course. Clearing your cache will get rid of the images and other things that uh, it loads in ahead of time. So um, clearing your history and your cache is always a good idea, especially if you don't want people snooping. Good. And what about things like uh, GarageBand pages, leaving files behind? Yeah, so there are a number of applications these days that actually store files on the uh, the iPad as well. So, for example, if you've downloaded GarageBand, uh, it will save your GarageBand projects on there. But there's no real way of knowing that just by looking at the main home screen on here. You don't know that there's like maybe uh, 100 megabytes of files just sitting there um, eating up space on your drive. So it is good every so often to plug your device into your computer, go into iTunes, into the apps, scroll down to the bottom and see the, uh, the list of the files that are associated with each of these apps and just see, oh, there's a lot of stuff on there and then just, you know. Clear them out. Clear them out. Yeah. Go, you can go back into the app on here and clear them out if you know which apps are already using this, like Pages, uh, the word processing program. Uh, there's, there's a ton of uh, data potentially being stored behind the scenes here that you just want to get rid of because you don't need it anymore. Very good. Very good. All right, and I think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the final, uh, final tip, which is, again, it's common sense, but mm -hmm. some people forget this, and that is when you physically clean your device. Yeah, so we've got a couple of tips here. So one of them is just get out your cloth and just clean the screen, because all those fingerprints and Coke stains on this, just, just disgusting, get rid of it. So just clean it off and it looks nice. Let's see the back of your phone. That's kind of disgusting. Look how gross that is. That is gross. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even touching that with my cloth. You can do that later on yourself. Of course, you've got, uh, you've got the old thing right here, the standby. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work here. But if you've got a phone, make sure your phone is powered down before you start spritzing this into it. You don't want to be hitting that. That's Ew, yeah, spitty. It's still gross. Yuck. Um, but yeah, you've got, uh, you've got connectors on here. So like on your iPhone, you've got... Uh, You've got the, the connector on here. And if you keep this in your pocket, like a lot of people do, you'll get a bunch of lint and dirt and other stuff in there. So you'll just want to go in there and 
do that and get that out there. You don't want to reach in there with a, your fingernail or a screwdriver and start pulling it out that do way. Do mine. You should turn it off though first. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you don't want to be shooting uh, cold air at electronics. So, well, did you turn it right off? No. Yeah. See, that's that's the thing is before you start shooting this because it does get really cold. Um, you don't. You want to make sure everything is powered down so that it doesn't uh, fracture or anything like that. So. Yeah, I don't want a fractured iPhone. No that means I'd have to buy an Android iPhone. phone if I did that. Yeah, well, there we go. You want to buy an Android phone? Here's your excuse. So you just go in there and clean that stuff out. That's it? That's it. Come on, you can't do it like it. Okay, well, you, you can do it if you're going to do that. So clean out all the little sections on there that have speakers and whatnot. Don't forget the thingy there. Like don't, the little, yeah, the little. Don't. And a warning here, don't be too aggressive with this because you'll, uh, it does tend to condense, so don't, don't stick it right in the headphone jack and go... So do Have this, fun. but do it with moderation, please. Having fun? It always comes to that in the end. So use it responsibly. Cool. Yes. I said we, we've gotten heck for this in the past. Make sure you fire the, the device down. Don't fire it up immediately afterwards. And don't, don't stick it right into your headphone jack and start squirting, because you could cause some damage doing that. Right, it'll freeze the components. And do then. not squirt it at your pets. No, do not. No, that would be bad. That would be bad. Don't, don't abuse your cat with it. Co-host? Yes. Cat, no. Yeah, so I think this is a big thing. Just clean your phone off. Clean your phone. Get rid of the gunk it's from a, your pocket. It's a wise idea. And we, yeah, this is what we use dust off. It's the, it's a, you know, it's a the can, official can of air. The official can of lab rats. Can so. of air, yeah. Dust off. I think, what are these, like three or four bucks a can or something like that? Yeah, it depends on where you get them. Yeah. We get them for probably about five bucks each in bulk. Yeah. So the other thing, of course, you know, so you have a... Uh, a uh, protective case on yours, so if you have a smartphone or an iPad or something like this, put a protective case on it. That'll help it from yeah. getting disgusting in the first place. Cool. So, there you go. There you go. Spring cleaning for your smartphone and your tablet and any other devices you might happen to have coming along. Uh, most of those tips are kind of handy for any electronics, really, if you think about it, in many cases. Yeah, don't spray dust off into any electronics when they're powered up. That's right. It's, bad. it's a bad idea. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we get Clip of the Week. And your pictures, that's after this. Welcome back to Lab Rats. Well, uh, before we get to pictures, of course, we have a clip of the week. And this week, Andrew Moore Crispin has done um, a, a little gadget TV on a thing called the Joby Ori, or the Ori by Joby, or also known as the Joby Gorilla Mobile Ori, or something like that. Right? Did I get it right? Yeah, yeah. I got it right. I got it right. So there you go. It's yeah, a, one of their Gorillapod uh, series of devices, I guess. Yeah, it's like a standy thingy for, well, you'll see, it's for the iPad. So yeah, Don't listen to him. You know. Andrew's got all the goods here. He does. Here's a clip, and uh, we'll, be right, we'll be back after. You see this fun piece. Welcome on deck. I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A-List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. So as you can see here, um, it really is holding the iPad up at a, at a, at a really unique for, for this kind of case angle. It's also uh, 360 degrees swivel, swivel, so we can put it uh, in portrait or landscape. We'll just turn it around if we feel like it. We can fold it back like this. If we pop this piece out here, fold it back down like this, we now have a uh, more standard style um, lower sitting case. So I promised you we'd come back after the clip. You didn't believe me, did you? I uh, did. Yeah, I knew. You, you, you are. You, I saw the schedule. We've got it over on the board there. We know what we're doing next. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so if you want to see the entire clip, uh, not the entire clip, the entire show from where that clip is taken, go on over to butterscotch.com and uh, it's in the Gadget TV series. Uh, an entire glorious four minutes of Andrew Moore Crispin going on about the Joby Ori mobile mo gorilla thing. Yes. Okay, good. Whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. <laughs> All right, uh, and now this is the time where we, uh, on Lab Rats, where we look at pictures. We do. So again, we've uh, only got one picture this week. Just so yeah. is, the, is the well running low? Yeah, the well is running low. Uh -huh. So send your pictures in. The pictures, I'll be forced if, uh, to take pictures of been... Matt. Or, or Paul. Or Andy's daughter, Rover. <laughs> it's from last episode, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, make sure that uh, you send them in if you've been planning to do it, because we need the pictures. Otherwise, you'll just have to see those pictures or He'll dance or, again or, or something. start to recycle pictures. That'd be good. Hmm. I never thought about that. <laughs> That's a good idea. Reruns. Hmm. All right. Good. All right. So this week, yes. we, we do have a rerun of a sort. Uh, it's uh, someone who sent pictures before. It's Arjun. 
Arjun, he's, yes. He's sending pictures from all around the world. He sent from Seattle, and this time he's sending it from, I think you recognize this. Yeah, this is a shot from the hills uh, over, overlooking Berkeley, California. So this is the Bay Area, looking at San Francisco, and that looks to me like, I think it's the East Bay Bridge. The East Bay Bridge? Possibly. Is that uh, Tower? Uh, that is yeah, about that's Berkeley. That's the, that's the UC Berkeley right there, that little tower. There we so, go. So, very nice. We love to see your pictures. I used to live actually right here for two well, and a half look, years. It looks a bit dark. Well, that was, my lights were off. Oh, okay. All right. So, there you go. You can send your pictures to... Is anybody really surprised that Andy lived in the dark <laughs> at LiveRats.tv? <laughs> Yeah, or uh, more simply and more politely, frankly. Sean just got fired at LiveRats.tv. <laughs> or more simply than that, simply that, feedback at LiveRats.tv. Feedback at LiveRats.tv, there you go. All right, thank you so much. Um, I thought that was a great episode. It was a stroke of genius, really, if you think about it. You know, yeah, kind of. Smart, you know, spring cleaning for your smartphone. Any, any episode where you get to shoot that thing at uh, people is a good episode That's in your right. books, though. It's, it, it absolutely is. It makes my life. Makes my life better. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in this week. My name is Andy. I'm Sean Carruthers. Um, and it would be foolish for us to be here squirting air at people if you guys weren't out there with dirty gadgets. See you next time. Are you ready?